actually gardens, number 56. My mother's flat was on the very top, mm -hmm. wasn't it? We went up in the lift. Do you remember, Dougie, all the work that was done here? <laughs> oh, the, yeah, I, I can remember several times. I remember one time in particular, uh, I came here when mother was away, and I, I came with a, with a bunch of flowers. And I said to Mr. CP, Mother's coming back today, so will you take these to make sure there's flowers in the house? <laughs> and uh, another rather funny thing that, that happened with me, which I thought was strange at the time, but uh, I bought some orchids, some slipper orchids, mm. and I gave them to Mother because I thought they were really, really nice. Gave them to her, and she said to the servant, Oh, yes, go and put them in the toilet. And I felt a little bit disappointed <laughs> at that. But then, Two weeks later, I came when I came there. There were the orchids still in full bloom in the toilet. <coughs> so obviously, Mother knew something that I did. It's the right place for the them to right be. The right place for everything to be. Yeah, yeah. quite incredible. Yeah, amazing. Did you do any work on it, Pat? No, I no, didn't. You weren't in there. One of the things I remember most, um, or two things, uh, uh, I got two really nice um, sort of ornamental bits of brass work. Uh, f from Shimataji here, she um, wants it. Uh, she found out it was my birthday, and she just plucked something off the mantelpiece and gave it to me. And another time, uh, I was I was feeling a bit sorry for myself, I think. And then she uh, uh, she gave just picked something else up and gave it to me. And I've got both of them. And was it was it here that she did the hoops, the uh, the uh, oh, right. bangles? Them on your ears? I can't remember. I'm Might not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, we, we used to come here after meetings because uh, yeah. oh, they're Caxton Hall. She would invite us back from Caxton Hall and give us some food, didn't she? Yeah, yeah she, she oh, often even in. Even new people. Even new people would come yeah. over from Caxton Hall and we'd all go up there for a while. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Mm. Yes, yeah, so many, many of the times. And then you, you had your uh, wedding. Well, even yeah. before that, we, um, we, we would stay here and at one point, when we were still at Finchley Road Ashram, um, to clear me out, Mother said I had to leave the ashram and I was feeling particularly sorry for myself. And I said to Mother, so I have to go then? And she said, yes, you have to go. And then she nipped over beside me and said, we have to keep saying like this so that we, the negativity feels that you're gone. And then she nipped back in front of me and said, so you'll be going then? And I just said, yes, of course, you know, because I felt completely that I understood that Mother was with me. Yeah. It wasn't that I was being sent away, it was that the negativity had to re believe I was out so that it would leave me alone. And then when we went, we, we had our first year at Sands, do you remember? Mm, yeah. We, it was a wedding. <coughs> Caxton Hall. Dollars was Hill, wasn't it? The no. wedding. Yes, it was a wedding party in Dollars Hill. We all got invited. No idea whose wedding it was. And we were all at Dollars Hill and it went on till midnight. That was, yeah, that was one of the times at Dollar Hill in NW10, just around the corner from the queue. Yeah. Um, and like Pat said, every Monday, for as long as I can remember, every Monday, Mother would be in Caxton Hall, which is just a walk, really. And then we'd come back here and she'd either, uh, sometimes she would go into McDonald's and have a fillet of fish and a Diet Coke, or sometimes she'd send someone out for, and they would come back festooned with McDonald's, and, and we, we were sort of amazed that, um, the Adi Shakti would eat McDonald's, you know, and, and drink Diet Coke from a straw. And uh, a lot of, one of my enduring memories is Mother saying she used to watch out of the window to the cathedral there. school there yes, yeah, and watch remember? the delivery lorries delivering casks and casks of beer and cases of whiskey for all the priests. For the and uh, she was cathedral. For the cathedral. She was absolutely amazed that this was supposedly... God's house and it was just like a, a pub really. Yes, that's actually cool, it. it was a lovely, lovely, it was really comfortable. I remember as we used to walk in there into the hall, the big um, wooden Ganesh was there and he was always in and that one came to Dollis Hill and we took it to Dollis Hill and I remember scrubbing him down, putting him in the bath and scrubbing all the cum cum off him to make him clean. And we did spend our, our wedding night here. And Before that, to remember after that wedding, that, that, that in Dollars Hill, yeah. Mother gave us a lift because all the buses had stopped. Oh, when that's right. When we got right. out of the car here. That's right, and that was our first year college exams. Yes, Maury and I day. were at college and we had exams the next day. And Mother said, would you like to come in? And Maury said, oh, we have exams tomorrow. She says, oh, you better go then. So we went. 
She, 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 went back. she said to you, came to the wedding even yes, so. Yes, that's right. And she said, don't worry, you'll be don't all worry, right. Don't worry, you'll be fine. And we were eventually. Yes. But yeah, and, and then a little while after that, we were married and spent our, our wedding night here because um, there were two weddings going on and the other one, the family, just whisked them all away. Yeah. My mother said, so you two, what are you doing? And we <laughs> just like didn't know. You just look like, uh, no. we don't know. Come with me. Yeah. So we drove through London from, it was from... Uh, uh, Hester, so Hampstead. From Hampstead yeah. through here, and we actually saw the dean of our faculty in the street, and we were all dressed uh, yeah. as in you know, I had a massive turban on with one of mother's which sorry. was a mother's sari, one of the mother's brooches there, and we were still tied together with the scarf, the sitting flowers. in the back. The mother was in the front, and we just saw this guy, and it was so surreal the fact that this intellectual fool just didn't know what was driving past him, and then we came here. Our mother showed us into a room, says there, you go there, and we just sat there on the bed for... Tied together by the Tied together, still tied together. Yeah. Sat on the bed for, must have been two or three hours, and we eventually sort of crept out there. And we could hear some sort of noise. Our mother was in the, the lounge watching the telly. It was a Betty Davis film. And her mother says, you must watch this, she's really good. And after that, she, was, she loved it. She, She's a very good actress, very and good she, heart. she took our, our thing off. And she said, oh, no need for this. So she untied us. So, you know, because we were still tied together with, uh, with the scar. And then the next morning we had breakfast with CP and, and she told him uh, they'd been married. And he was very pleased. He said, oh, thank you for staying. It's very auspicious to have you here. And then oh, on that day we went to pick the keys up. Um, for the ashram in Stockwell, Chelsea, Chelsea Road. Road. Yes, because Mother said it was auspicious for a newly married, a newly married couple. couple. So we, we went there and, and we were the first people in there when it was ours. It was Linda's actually, but it was a, uh, a proper ashram there. There's a lift, a central lift there that goes all the way up. And one day I came to see Sri Masjid and the lift came down and the doors opened and I realised I was looking at Mother below my eyesight and the first time I had known her for several years I realised she was shorter than me because yeah. she always seemed so immense. Seemed yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the only time in my life I ever realised yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's extraordinary. But you'd go up in the lift and then turn and her, she was that way, the flat, wasn't it? Yeah. So you came out that way on that side. Yeah. And then you go into the entrance, and you spent ages painting that frame over the radiator, didn't yeah. you? The wooden. Yeah, she put grills over all the radiators the to hide them, and with a nice shelf and ornaments on everything. Oh, Douglas, I can remember you painting. Oh, yeah, um, I, I, I did. I, I actually did spend quite a lot of time in there doing bits and pieces. Now, I remember as you go in the in the hall, you go through the door, and on the right, there's. Um, a large double cupboard with um, two mirrors on it and the outside of the mirrors is was uh, decorated with with woodwork which is hand carved woodwork which came from India and she gave me all these pieces of woodwork to put on and of course um, I sort of fiddled around with them for a little bit and then I realized that there was just enough to go around these cupboards. It was quite amazing. So I decorated the outside of these cupboards and then what I did was I went round, I went out and bought some glass mirrors. So we put two huge glass mirrors on it really amazing because it was a coat for cupboards so yeah. when people were going out they could yeah. see what they looked like. So I, I put all I put that in myself, but mothers of course supplied the parts. But so that that's what it's like in there. And then next to the <coughs> next to the cupboard there was always, there was a, um, I think it was a Ganesha, because I used to remember, I used to, Mr. CP used to sort of touch his feet when he'd go out. It was a big wooden one. It was a big uh, dark wooden one carved was, one. The one that was at... Because um, that went, went at, to Dollis Hill. Yeah, yeah and that, that was upstairs in Hurst Street. Yeah. Yeah. Well, upstairs. I remember washing him in the bath in, yeah. in Dollis Hill yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah. beautiful. It wasn't quite ebony, but very dark yes. wood. Yeah, yeah. And mother, actually in here, well, they gave me a Ganesha, which I still got a tiny little jade Ganesha. She said, there, it's broken, you might fix him. And where his hand is like that, the hand was broken off there. So I got some super glue. And I've never had super glue work before, 
and it worked and he's still there. You it's know, still for, there. 30 years yeah. later and he's, he's still on the altar so that, but, that was in there. But uh, inside, I mean, so much of these houses were always the same. You know, there was very lush, wasn't it? It's there was uh, yeah. beautiful carpets, yeah. um, you know, yeah. embroidered yeah. carpets laid everywhere all over the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, she'd always get nice chandeliers, be yes, always, lots of yeah. ornaments. There was, uh, of, there was always light. Even yeah, no, there was light. The everywhere. furniture well, was well, quite ornate well, and the well, carpets the were there. There were glass doors yeah. that you could have opened out onto the staircase. Yeah. And there was the, the, the long room that was the dining room and the long room that was the living room as well, yeah. both on the front. Yeah, they're quite And good, then yeah. mother's bedroom was the first bedroom down the end of the passageway. And do you remember in the passageway, Mother made false ceilings to yeah. put all the yes, all the all the sort of things stuff. she needed to put away. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. did that quite often. Yeah. She said it was a waste of space in some areas. Yeah, and uh, she'd make a false ceiling and make a kind of a, a kind of space Probably to store false. stuff. Yeah. yeah, and do you remember the kitchen when we went down to um, that place to see those people who were supposedly all spiritualists? And Mother went in the kitchen <coughs> and she made sandwiches for all of us to take with us. Yeah when we were going down there, because we'd been invited by that guy who came to the meetings. And we were all terrified, and Mother said, right, you've got to be really, you know, prepared for this, and these mm. spiritualists, you know, they're working with spirits and all this. And we went down there, and they all turned out to be realised, and they were all amazing. We had a wonderful <laughs> time. And we all ate these sandwiches in the car going down. It was brilliant. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, I don't even remember how many bedrooms. There must have been three, I think. Oh, more than that. I can't remember. There's a lot more than that. Well, I just oh, remember that's Mother's it. bedroom, the first one we came to. Well, I wasn't involved in, in, in Ashley Gardens quite so much as everyone else because uh, I was in trouble, do you remember the, the beginning? Yes, you were, that was your I, time out. <laughs> I, got, I got sent out as I did, well, not sent out, she might have said, um, I'd like to. Um, you know, you're, you're caught up and you're, you're affecting the others. I think you ought to really go out and be separate for a, uh, a while, but I don't really want you to uh, go out there on your own. You might get lost. And I said, no, no, I won't, you must you. Don't worry, I promise I won't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'd just come, not, not long come out of the, the drug scene and uh, been a squatter in London and um, living on Mars bars and amphetamines, and <laughs> among other things. <laughs> And that was just the uh, the bit I could tell, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, you basically had given up, you know. You, no, I, I hadn't given not up. Not exactly I, given up, but I remember you. Might have given yeah, up. You, I can remember you saying to me, "Maybe next life you'd feel yeah, some yeah. joy." Whereas yeah. I was all going, "It's fantastic," and you were going, "Because oh, yeah, well, it was exhausting." And, and you, yeah. No, I was. I was I, looking back. I can't imagine how I kept going, but uh, I, I felt I had no choice. You know, yeah. you've got to got to keep going, you know, because I refused to believe that I wouldn't find what I was looking for. But looking at it from a practical point of view, you know, it was hopeless. <laughs> well, I was in a real mess. Fruit, yeah. I was hardly, hardly in, the, in the real world anymore. But that was partly why I, I saw all these things in, in Shumatiji when I came, you know. So I, I, I got a bed sit around the corner from the ashram. <laughs> and, uh, but this was at uh, Finchley. This was at Finchley, yeah. So, which was no, no, I wouldn't. I'd sort of, I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to stay I used away. To go and visit him, and they'd all say, "What are you doing? You're attached." And I say, "It's my brother." <laughs> what are you talking about? It was only a few months, and then yeah. I, I, I moved back into Dollars Hill at the beginning, yeah. basically. Yeah, that's right. Well, I was doing an art college course, you know, so I was quite busy and, and, and doing an interior design course, so. Uh, I was busy focused on that basically, but um, yeah, I, I remember I got flu and 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 I was really ill, and uh, the next time, <coughs> towards the end, I was just getting better. When it's, I got it all over again, so I had flu twice, and and uh, two weeks in succession, and I was, that was when I, you know, she might have said really. I have no more story. Well, I was just remembering how um, we would come here sometimes, and especially the girls were very privileged in that they would get to sleep in Shumashiji's bedroom. And I can remember one incident like that where another yogini and myself was there, and um, Shumashiji said, lie down on the bed, lie down, you know, let's sleep now, sleep now. And this other yogini was laid on one side, and Shumashiji apologized to me because she said she always sleeps on her right side. <laughs> so she had her back to me. I said, really? 
that's fine. You know. And I lay down, and then after a while she said, Maureen, are you there? I said, yes. She said, I can't, you know, where are you? Because I didn't dare cuddle up to her. <laughs> and I was just, just like, I'm here, Mother. She said, where are you? Where? <laughs> so I sort of inched a bit nearer and just lay there and just <laughs> relax. <laughs> but it was just, you know, I just couldn't just let go to the fact that it was okay to just be in such a space. And then later in India we heard how uh, if anybody laid on Shumashti's bed who um, was unauthorised, they'd be thrown off the bed, <laughs> yeah. you know, by the deities. So I, I must have been a bit aware that, you know, that what I was doing was, was a little a few bit... fierce deities about it. Yes, there. it was as if I was growing up a tiny bit and yeah, yeah. stopped feeling like the little baby that could do whatever. Oh. When we, when we were first, um, when Shumashti said we should do a big public programme, we looked everywhere. And I can't remember who found Caxton Hall as the right place, but we told Mother and she said to go ahead. And uh, the great thing about Caxton Hall is it had many different rooms in it. They had, um, do you remember the names of them, Pat? They all had different names. The only one I can definitely remember is the Great Hall. And if ever we, about once a month, we get the Great Hall, and do a big public program. But we actually advertised the very first one in Time Out, and um, it was quite a fair size hall, wasn't it? The, it, was the, it was the one on the right. Well. Yes. yes. Like yeah. Well, we made so, such a mess of it that uh, Bogdan said the only reason he came that he, he thought that anyone who made such a mess of a, an advert must be uh, uh, regular people and not. <laughs> not publicity types. <laughs> And it's called Ambrosden as well. <laughs> Do you remember buying all those plates in Oxford Street? All the plates? Yeah, Mother bought a load of, um, I think it was Crown Derby, China, yeah. in Oxford Street. At, uh, I think it was a sale at Selfridges. At Selfridges, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, they used to shop a lot in the army and navy as well. Yeah, didn't yeah. Yes. I can remember going shopping in um, Oxford Street with Mother, and I had something wrong with my eyes. Yeah. And she said I just had to follow her with one hand out, one hand down, and I could have had to keep shutting my eyes because <laughs> they're all gone pink. So yeah. It was Mike and Shudi working out, so we'd just be wandering around with her buying things. And yeah. Like, Shop where she would always buy prestige oh, tea. Oh, uh, Tapa Finlay, yeah. Yes. On Oxford Street. The prestige tea, yeah. yes. Always made tea completely different to others now. Apparently, this is about Jesus. We should go back and tell him, really. <laughs> Put him out of his misery life. What is Christianity? Oh, thank you. Mother used to shop a lot in the army and navy okay. for things like crockery and bed linen and things like that. It's a nice house of Fraser store. She was always quite keen on uh, the quality, quality stuff. She wouldn't get any rubbish in. She used to take people in there to go shopping. In 1977 they started in October and they must have gone on for several years and w when mother went to India um, she'd go to India for about three months January to March so obviously they'd stop we never did meetings without mother okay we weren't really at that point we just survived for three months <laughs> um, and except for the time obviously when we went with her but that was put before um, Yes, it's extraordinary to think that she came every single Monday. It was just a fixed event. Um, as I say, once a month we'd have the Grand Hall and to the Great Hall and have a big meeting and do another big publicity and it would always be packed, absolutely packed. And Mother would see everybody in the hall, she'd give a talk. And there was one day when Gregoire 
decided that he would announce who Shumashiti was. And he gave the big talk, and then he, in his own way, paused and very slowly pronounced her to be the Adi Shakti. And Mother said that it went over some people that way and the other people that way. And they just, you know, it's all too much for them. But we were expecting them all to go, this is it, we found her. And they were just sitting there as usual. You know? And even at one of the um, Caxton Hall meetings, some lady stood up and said that she was the Adi Shakti. And Shumatiji had been going round and seeing everybody on, and on all the chairs. So it so happened she was stood in front of Mother when she said it. And Shumatiji just looked at her and said, really? Just, I said, I think you should go and do your own meetings. That <laughs> she left. But it's just extraordinary, extraordinary that people were so um, blind. They would come, they'd get their realization, they'd go, and then a new lot would come and get realization and go, and then few, few would hang on. Hey, that's packed in the hall. The um. Oh, no, the entrance, no, no this is it. This is definitely Caxton Hall. This is sort of fairly typical Victorian built municipal building which is in private hands now. And this is where Mother used to have public meetings every Monday for years and years and years. And this is where I met Mother. I met Mother in uh, just after Easter of 1979. And she came in and it wasn't the Great Hall, it was one of the, the smaller halls. And I was sitting at the front. Um, mother gave a talk and she used to come and work on people individually which was telling people now we think no that, that, that's not right mother wouldn't do that and the mother came down and looked talked to everyone who's in you and then did you feel it and things like that so everyone put their hand up and they feel it and um, I've met Maureen uh, a while before and she took me to meet mother and Maureen was nervously standing behind me saying this is him mother this is him and mother says he's all right, and that was it. That, that was fine. That was as uh, as much approbation as I would ever need. But Caxton it's a magnificent building. It was quite um, well known in the 60s, especially because it was the registry office. So lots of celebrities, celebrities you know, pop stars and film stars, British pop stars and film stars were married then. You would always see them on the newsreels coming out of Caxton Hall. Yeah, I think they took that down. It was it was Caxton Hall before this was a Caxton Hall. So it probably it probably goes back to Thomas Caxton. This was it. This was my first real yeah. experience of public meetings here. Well, this was where we did the first ever public meeting. Yeah, yeah. this one here, in the no, one on the right. It, that no, was the whole there. one on the left, was it? That's what I was supposed to say. No, it was, it was one of the smaller was, halls. No, I it think. was a bigger hall. It wasn't. No, it wasn't the great hall. <laughs> it was. It was. Well, that had a raised stand, and we were on that little platform either side of Mother. It wasn't the raised one. Had we were on a raised one. A raised one, but not that raised. There were, raised, raised. Just, to, uh, just to add to the mix, there were a number of meeting rooms for higher in Caxton Hall and over the years we probably used all of them. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And, yeah, and as, yeah. Mother, as Maureen said, once a month, something like that, we used to have the Great Hall, which was the biggest one. And it was, you know, it's like magnificent Victorian municipal architecture. All the rooms were wood panelled and lovely parquet flooring. Mother loved that, that sort of thing, anyway, the, the, sort of the quality build of things. Um, Mother used to have, it was sort of the same format, Mother would talk, introduce herself, she would talk about Sad Yoga, about whatever subject she wanted to talk about, she would raise everyone's kundalini, she, and then she would come in between us and, and walk up and down the roads working on people and working on the chakras and actually working on people and raising the kundalini individually, which is, uh, thinking back, astonishing, that's an awesome thing to do. To, to be part of, to be a, a witness to. The meeting was quite, was quite amusing really because um, Mother would turn up what, 7, 7.30ish and give her talk 
and then she'd go around checking everybody. And I remember the old the old guy, the, the, the sort of uh, like the caretaker that was there. He'd he'd start turning the lights off oh, at yes, about so sort of about half past ten. And Mother would say she just sort of carry on and take no notice. But eventually he got used to sort of the way we went because mother didn't stop until she was finished and it was a case of he waited for her yeah, yeah. yeah. and quite often she, she worked on oh. everyone all the new people all she's working on all the new yeah. people so yeah. she wouldn't, wouldn't go until the job was finished yes and uh, we used the great hall for quite a long time but then um we started using the hall upstairs, the small hall upstairs as well, after sort of a couple of years. And one, one interesting thing um, I remember here was um, one, one time there was a demonstration by the National Front outside the hall. A mother said, oh, don't worry, when the fox wants to die, it comes to the town. Uh, and that started as a sort of demise of the National Front. They gradually. We, we also had some uh, politicians uh, speaking one night in another yeah. hall. Remember? And um, then we, we left our bag behind, and they had to call out the bomb squad <laughs> 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 to defuse it in case in case it was we were yeah. to, uh, Who was it? One of the Conservatives. I oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it was quite funny. But that first public meeting was really awesome. I mean, it changed. Sergio oh, changed. It was oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In incredible. two hours, it was. It was yeah. it, it's, we went into the meeting. It was one thing. Yeah. Came out and it was another. It was just a complete electric. It's, it's like, like a, the lights got put on. Well, it was yeah. like, it was I thought just, it was like changing gear. It was like a whole new well, um, era was, and you could well, feel it, couldn't you? Each, it was just amazing. But, but the point was, each sort of at that time, it, there was these sort of like phases, weren't there? Because. The first thing we met when we met Sri Mataji at Baraka Vidibhan, it was like an introduction. Well, I wasn't there, Doug. Well, but that, <laughs> that's... looking at me. Well, uh, it, <laughs> right. it, was, it was like a... You were at Baraka Vidibhan. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, with, it wasn't me. With Marie. No. no, Marie bought me. Yeah, she to, did go there. Yeah, yeah, Marie went there, but they she, went there with she the, bought uh, Matt Nye to Judd oh, Street. Right. They went there with yeah. that, that uh, Hatha Yoga teacher. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, but 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 the whole point. Well, let's say this way then. Uh, we went to Barata Vidya Bhavan and that was like an introduction. And then from Barata Vidya Bhavan we went to Judd Street. Now, now Judd Street, it was like, like a sort of germination because a, a, one or two more people came in. Now, after Judd Street, we went to North Gower Street. And I think North Gower Street was like... Yeah, it's, you feel it, it's starting to take root. Can you feel it? It's starting to yeah, take yeah, root. It did, yeah, it does. Yeah. Right, now, so I think what happened here was at North Gower Street, it started to take root. The roots started to grow. And then coming to here was the plant was yeah, starting to grow. Yeah. The, it was starting to flower. Now, I think that is my what I think. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a real change. It, it really definitely was. changed. Yeah. And then we had yeah. uh, all these yeah. new seekers coming yeah. to see Bogdan, yeah. Bala and all these Bala, people. Bala, yeah. Bala, yeah. Yeah. Bala yeah. will be coming to England next month, I think. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these people came by Hall. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Well, Bogdan came to the first ever one, the first yeah. night. Yes, and Bala right. came to about the second. Yeah. Yeah. Grissom came. No, 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 he was already, he was before, a long he time before. He came from the first Mind, Body and Spirit. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. No, but there were, who else was it who came uh, to Caxton Hall? So, somebody quite... Um, uh, David Baxter. David Baxter, David Baxter. He's, oh yeah. yeah. He, he got his realisation, he rang us up at the ashram about four days later and said, um, excuse me, how long does this bliss last? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> and I said what do you mean? He said, I can't do my job, I'm dissolving in bliss, you know. Uh, what am I going to do? He was a reporter. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, hilarious. Yeah. He, was he moved funny. into the ashram with us. Yeah. 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 Stephanie had one of these rooms here, and one upstairs, as you said, Douglas. Yeah. And here's the main entrance where we stood many a times, <laughs> waiting to see Shumashji off, who would be, her car yeah, would be right. here. And we'd all gather here, and the poor caretaker would be there saying, 
Um, it's really time. I have to shut the door and we'd still we'd move another inch further forward. The full, whole pavement would be full of sajogis, new people wondering what was, you know, what the whole big deal was. And then Shumashji would be there in her car and off she'd drive. And then we'd finally reluctantly go off to the spaghetti house for our, for our supper. Yeah, it's very old. I guess that looks like the original door. Yeah. 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 Uh, of the, uh, no, oh, wait a minute. What page is that? Page one, yeah. Yeah, so that was um, first public meeting. Yeah. The fourth, uh, the 24th of the 11th, right? Now, it 1977. 77, yeah. yeah. Caxton uh, Hall. Caxton Hall there. Caxton Hall. That's 80. That's 80. Uh, Caxton Hall. Caxton Hall, Caxton mm. Hall. What year are you in? Caxton now? Hall. Uh, 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 Still at the bottom. Oh, do you remember that one at Stratford? Yes. I do. Yes, I do it very well. Because that was where you first met you and Mark, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, that was it. Was that the bottom of our flat? Was that 84? Well, 80. 80. Yes, that was when yeah. I was uh, pregnant with Athena. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and right. I used to smother. That's right. Right, at Caxton Hall there. That's yeah. at nine, uh, that's 80. So we're in 80. 1980. Bottom there. Bottom there. 81. Yeah, I think it's going to be 82. Oh, yeah. yes, it's got to be 82 because I remember. Work backwards. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, 82. Bottom. 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 82. 82. 82. No. No, never no? pujas here. No, no, we never did pujas no. here. Funny that. Just public uh, programs, talk. Well, where did Catch you do the pujas then? In the How many people did you sort of get? How many people on average did you get to the. A few hundred. <coughs> Yeah, and the Great Hall The Great Hall would all, all two or three hundred anyway. Yeah. I'm sure that first, it was generally the first meeting there was a lot. About I, I'm 200 sure. at the yeah. very least. No, but then after this first meeting here, we always had, yeah, our numbers went up from oh, 6 or 7 to 60 or 70, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, straight away. But they did change, but yes. the number stayed about yeah, the same for the next one. few years. But yeah. okay. they did so change that people there. would come and there. people would go. 83. 83. 83. Yeah. 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 So it was so, from yeah. 77 to 83. That's a long time. Six yeah. years. Yeah. Six years. Yeah. 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 Well, I remember we used to do the meetings, wouldn't we? Yes. <laughs> With the uh, um, uh, blow the conch at the end and all bow down and leave all these poor new people. Yeah. Standing up like lemons at, at one stage, but I mean, most of the time we were just. Yeah. Um, well, we, when we, we did it, do you remember we went to the flower store and uh, went and bought all those flowers and decorated it just like yeah. we did the yeah. Ultimate Hall, the same yeah. thing. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, they used to uh, do national tours all the time uh, when CP was off on business and she went to, she went to my hometown, Middlesbrough, she went to Derby. Birmingham, Bristol, Leeds, went to Leeds a lot. And during the day, when, when she would stay overnight, she would go shopping. Uh, one uh, has been captured on, on film. Someone filmed her shopping for crockery in Derby because Derby's uh, near the um, near the Wedgwood, where you know where the sort of the potteries is there on the Northwest Midlands. And mother's film just going around this lovely, lovely um, crockery shop. With lots of sad yogis just following behind in a way, just so on the on the tail of a comet, really. And she used to love that. And she would go and uh, when she'd speak, she would speak about the area itself. And my hometown's uh, uh, an industrial town. It was uh, before the Victorian. There was nothing there, and they discovered iron ore in the local hills, and it was effectively built on steel. And it was uh, with Sheffield. Teesside and Sheffield were the two centres of the steel industry in England for a long time. And so her mother came to Middlesbrough and gave us a talk in the college, the, the Polytechnic there. Oh, right, okay. And she would say, she would drive around and ask about the, the locale where she was going to speak. And I drove her around and across the transporter bridge, across the River Tees, which is a really lovely bridge. And she asked me what the what the town was, I said it was built on steel 
and we just had our third child, our second son, and she was staying in my friend's flat, and we didn't have a name for him, he was only a few weeks old. I said, Mother, can you name him? She says, what's this town built on? So I was built on staying mother. She says, oh, we should, we'll call him Samarth, which is the man who was equal to his own name. And we'll call him Samson as well. So he's called Samarth Samson. And it was beautiful. And he was, he was named in a steel town, so he's like a man of steel. It's beautiful. <laughs> After the Caxton Hall meetings, most times, we would all decant to the Tavalacalda and there'd be 20, 30, 40 of us in there. And occasionally mother would come and sit upstairs in the court well, in the corner table upstairs, but it's shut now. And it was uh, another, not a particularly significant or auspicious building, but it, it's great memories for us all from um, 1979 and the early 80s until Taxnell shut, we stopped using it. So it's a shame, that's, uh, we won't be able to get in there. Put the lights are on upstairs. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That was upstairs where we went with mother when because we'd fill the whole of the upstairs. Oh yes, we get the upstairs. Yeah, it's really there it is gone. There it is gone. Yeah. So well. Yeah. We've done done the walk. Move on. Yeah. This is where I came with humanity in the taxi somewhere around here where we we got behind the grenadier guards. Okay. It was a whole all in full you know regimental what's it all marching down the middle of the road and the taxi just behind them walking oh, pace. Wow. I was in a taxi with humanity. It was hilarious. Did she comment on this? Yeah. Yeah, we laughed because it was like it was like they were escorting oh, for her. Yeah, yeah for and then, you, yeah. then she started working on the uh, on the soldiers. <laughs> really? She said right side's very bad. Yeah, it's exhausted, <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Put that in the book as well. <laughs> <laughs> you read all about it in my coffee. <laughs> Well, it was somewhere up here, and for some reason there were some yogis who had this idea that Marble Arch used to be the Garden of Eden. Don't ask me why. And I mentioned it to Shumatiji as she, we went, drove round it, and she said, really? You can imagine it, There were a lot of strange ideas about it. Actually, I think they used to hang people there, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. 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 They hung, they hung uh, high she women. Cromwell. Cromwell. Anyway, we don't want to go on about them. Tyburn. Tyburn. Tyburn Brook, yeah. Blake, yeah. It's in Blake's um, work as well, isn't it? But um, we had Selfridges. I mean, Mother spent, went to Selfridges quite a lot. In fact, at one stage, we, she had all the loads of sad yogis working in there. Yeah. Yes, I did. Uh, we had a meeting there as well. John Watkinson worked in there. Dawn and, worked in there. Yeah, there was a whole Dawn gang of them all together. Of them. Yeah. And then in a, at an earlier stage, uh, she had a whole load of us working in Harrods. Why was that? Uh, I don't know, it was when Mother had Ashley Garden. She said to Pat, Pat, you must get a job there. And Pat looked all sort of... What? No, I just got this amazing job as a props man in the BBC on, on TV <laughs> to, for, for setting up sets and everything. And I was really chuffed. And she so said, no, that's not a suitable job for you. You know, it's like being a porter. So I, I said to Pat, yes, you must get a job in Harrods, being a, you know, a fish's oh, sister. Sorry. Mother turned to me and said, yes, you should do as well. And my face dropped we both I ended, got a good job as We both well. ended up in there. I was working in the bakery department. She was oh, in, in the flower. flower shop. Pat used to pass me because we were learning the arty at the time. We'd go, <laughs> And uh, we, we ended up with other people, didn't we? Who else? Christine yeah, was there Christine's in Christmas there, cards. Yeah. And... Um, and, and, Lindsay, uh, no, it's the other and that, that Tony guy, I think his name was Tony. That you know, we met at the uh, at the uh, what's the name meeting the other week weekend, Flood Street. Tony. Remember him? He was working in oh, there. Oh, that that. Uh, no, it's not by the way, uh, yeah, Anthony, I can't remember his Anthony. name. If you well, go, that's nearly Tony. Wow. This was where our t our car, our van ran out of petrol. Oh, uh, on, the, on the night of my uh, marriage. Already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You were yeah. going to my place, were you, or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, we had our first argument. So I refused to get out of the car wearing my turban. Because <laughs> this is North Gower Street, yes, isn't it? Yes, this is it. Yeah. I do know where we are. Here we are. This is North Gower Street. Yeah, it was. It was a bit further down, wasn't it? On the on the right. Yeah, that's Tolbert Square.
162. It wasn't 160. It's 160. It's at the back. Was it? It must have. I know where it is. It's the other side of the square. But is it, does it still exist? I don't think so. It was so. some no, sort it, of a. It was an old ball. bank. Old something. It, it was a bank. Oh, it's that bank on the corner that was closed. Yeah, I know where it was. I'm I didn't yeah. know that, but I remember being so mm. told. What was his name, that guy? Mook and Shah. Mook and Shah, yeah. 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 That's right. The playboy of the yoga yoga world. Yoga playboy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> I like I, I like that I like that name. I think it was rather good that name because it described him to a T. Well, he he was the one who told us about Shemesh. Yeah, and and do you know who told him to come to England? Who? Satwasai Baba. Oh no, not the, the yes. uh, silly one. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. It certainly does. We all lived around here before. Yeah. We met you, Matthew. There was yeah. all these streets where we hung out a lot. Yeah. Ambalas. Ambala, yeah. Ambala sweets are lovely. Somebody walking inside. When we had puja with Mother, we would um, come to Ambala and buy one box of. Indian sweets, and we now know they were called burfi and ladbu, and there'd be a variety, some pistachios, some, you know, just, I mean, we didn't know, it was like uh, food of the gods, <laughs> have a little piece of this vibrated Indian sweets, never tasted anything like it in our lives, it was beautiful, so we're going to buy some now. Um, yeah, it was in this. Uh, well, we all lived in this area before I met Chimatadi. It's a large squatting community, and um, I remember one of the second or the third time I met Chimatadi, uh, which was just around the corner in um, North Gower Street. Uh, she was uh, on her own. There was Gregoire with her, and that was about all. Uh, with a whole room full of hippies all arguing about drugs. And uh, she just, um, at one point, she just sort of hugged herself. Sort of, sort of went, what can I do? You know, and I just thought she's just like a mother with all these naughty children, you know. And so I thought, I just said, okay, I'll stop, see what happens, you know, taking drugs and uh, got a lot of dirty looks from all the others. Uh, but um, it was amazing how courageous she was, you know, coming from her background, uh, you know, the level of society she's lived on, um, you know, into a room, they were, they were a very wild bunch around here, they really were, you know, and she just took on the whole room of them, it was quite amazing. Uh, it, it started, it sort of like germinated in, um, uh, in, but like a video behind. and then when it went to Judd Street, it was sort of like uh, started to sort of take root, and, and then, um, then when it when it uh, got to uh, here, North Gower Street, it had like a permanent place, and then it started to grow, and then when it got to Caxton Hall, it, uh, Caxton Hall, it started to spread. So it was like a like yeah, a flower, yeah. You see? Uh, uh, and, and uh, we had a fair few weeds around here, didn't we? As well. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> mother, was, mother said in one of one of her, her um, one of her talks that um, all the all the rubbish went into the foundations. But but what you've got to remember is even if the rubbish goes into the foundations, it makes the foundation stronger. So it can support the whole of the whole of the, the building. So even even those that sort of got cast aside sort of would have done their bit in a way. So everything, as I say, every little helps. And so why do you think people in those early days, some of them just didn't stick on? The penny didn't drop as to who Schmetz was. As you said, the penny didn't. Well, um, uh, it's. They might have known, but they weren't pre prepared to believe, or they were so um, into other things. Well, that to them, it, it just it seemed but there was like peer pressure just as another, well. just another experience. Uh, you know, the other, you know, I yeah. got quite a lot 
of stick about, you know, stopping taking drugs and one thing another. People were very cynical about news by then, you know. So that whole thing, and, and you go out, you go to a couple of parties, get a bit wasted, and you know, you lose all the vibrations, and it, it, you'd see it all differently. You know, so, uh, you know it happened to me. You know, I, I, I came back after the first. I, I didn't make it the second week. I, I meant to, uh, but uh, I didn't. And and then Samantha D asked after me because Maureen went, and uh, she came back and said, "Oh, Samantha D asked wh where you were," and I was quite touched. You know, I thought sweet of her to remember. That was the whole beginning of this whole. Aquarian thing, you know, the, yeah. the seekers tried to go go alone after that, after they started to get disillusioned with the big heavyweight gurus. Yeah. But we, we had a, they were rough, I remember that guy, that speed freak who, who threw the brick through the window. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. He, 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 was, he was on the it. third floor, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. brick came right through the window, we were sitting there as you and this brick came flying through the window, and she managed to say, look, did you see the way it moved so it didn't hurt, it did didn't actually, hit anyone? It actually came straight through the window and then went, like that. Yeah. Well, that's what she said. Anyway, um, anyway, I, I, was, I knew who it was because he was shouting outside, so I yeah. leapt up in a fury and went pounding down the stairs uh, to catch him and wring his neck. And, and afterwards, they told me she was he was putting bandage on me that I wouldn't find him. <laughs> so he wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> yeah. I, I vaguely remember at that time, Mother Shivatiji saying something like, don't worry, when I go, I shall pull in my net. Oh, to pull, yeah. To pull in her net. It couldn't work well, out. I mean, yeah, a lot yeah. of them were good people. Some of them were nice. Yeah, you know, they got lost again, but, you know, yeah. who knows? There was a lot of them around here, that was for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, you gave up, you know, you're going to give up a lot of fun, you know. Yeah. It's like one big permanent party around here, you know, it's just never stopped. <laughs> And did, and, and did she say anything about really comment on this decadence of this Western 70s, 60s, 70s oh, lifestyle? Yeah. Every, every time she met someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, any instances no, but I mean, she'd talk to each one and find out what they've been okay. doing and yeah. what their background was and what, what's, and, and be probing them, trying to find out what condition they were in. And she'd always be horrified. You know, she just, she just says she couldn't believe so many people had become so damaged so young, you know, and, or had been through so much suffering so young. But she meant suffering in a, in a spiritual sense, you know, just lost and frustrated and that kind of thing. Yeah, it was, they were all a heavy, heavy bunch. Remember that guy we used to call the Incredible Hulk? He used to sit in the back of the room going, <laughs> What universe are we in today? <laughs> um, yeah, it looks so, like they've completely re rebuilt the facade. Downstairs there was a barber, an old fashioned yeah. barber, it's one of those red With and white pole. signs. Strike pole, going yeah. Around. Go in there and go up three flights of stairs. The first no, floor was yeah, their offices. This, that was their office, the Gavin's office, this first floor. And then the second two floors were like a maisonette. Look out. The, the second two floors were a maisonette. Yeah, so the, the first floor was office, the second floor was their living room and the kitchen. And then the top floor was the bedrooms and the bathroom. Two, a couple of bedrooms and a bathroom. Yeah. And they rented it. That's where that um, Guru Puja was, where Shumashti sat on a brown sofa with flowers, sort of apparently growing out from her feet. <laughs> yes. And that brown sofa would pull out and be a double bed and she'd lie down and sleep. Sometimes, and we'd all lie yeah. on the floor and take vibrations. Yeah. So how long were we here for a meeting? We were still meeting... Well, we lived there for The first while. follow up to the first Caxton Hall was up here, yes, wasn't it? That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. 1977. Yeah. So that, it so went on for quite a few years. I mean, when, when they had children, I was still here. So Olympia was born in yeah. 1980. But the meeting stopped, I think, once we got Finchley. Um, yes. We yeah. more or less moved over to, to, to yeah, there. That's right. Mother would come over there. But this was... Um, like When I was saying earlier that, that guy who threw the brick, it was actually the second floor, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. It was this window. Up, yeah. It would have yeah, been this window. Not the one on the park, yeah. Not, not the, yeah, the middle the, one. The uh, third one up. Third one. Because yeah. uh, that's where, that, was the, that would have been the lounge, and that's where she actually would have been yeah. sitting. Yeah. Uh, just next to the, that window. And we, yeah. 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 And uh, we had a lot of meetings here. Um, 
Including the follow-ups. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Dan came here. This is where Jamal got his realization. Yes, that was after the uh, after mind, body mind and, and body and spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is where he uh, got that crashing headache off Gus and uh, said that he now believed in collective consciousness. You know, they tried to work <laughs> on him. He came back and said, "My God, no, I believe in it." And uh, well, lots of things happened here. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I came here one day uh, early for the meeting on a Sunday. And uh, I found she wanted you waiting outside in the street on her own, and nobody was here yet. Gosh, what and did you she do? Was, well, what did you? Okay, <laughs> I said, oh dear, she must have said, sorry, you know, you, whatever. Um, but she was, she'd come up by herself on the train from Oxted, but she was just standing here uh, waiting. I know that after that first puja, the Guru puja, when we came out to the street here, I, it was the first time I felt like. Mankind had put a very thin layer of concrete over the earth, and that the earth was this huge pulsating thing that was, you know, that we, we were like ants, the, the little effect we'd had on it. It was the most amazing thing. It's like Mother had shifted the whole feeling. Yeah. And that, you know, what we thought of as London as this amazing town was just a transitory thing as part of, you know. It's a thin thing on yeah, the surface, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, you know so wafer thin compared to her strength beneath. Well, this, uh, this plate across the road here with all the windows, I've always thought that's where the squatting community used to be, that we were yeah. part of. And uh, mm. I've always thought of the, those windows as like a reflection of, uh, as we think of Shiva, as if it's a, a, mon a monument to establishing the, uh, the spirit in the middle of London. Yeah. And that's where you lived, wasn't it? Uh, no, 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 actually. You went round the corner that, there. Round the corner, yeah. I mean. No, no, square. no, you see there. That gap that, down there. You see that that place there? Yeah. That's a girl's hostel, okay? Yeah. And where I lived is if you go through yeah, there, down there and, and there. turn turn yeah. to right through, that's where I lived, yeah. on that yeah. corner. Yeah. Yeah. With <laughs> yeah. Um, So, yeah, we did a lot of meetings here. We did. Mother uh, gave a lot of talks. Yeah. This is where I had my second meeting with Shumataji, and, and from then on. Yeah. Yes. Because the first one was Judd Street. Um, yeah, we, that was where I made my did my famous faux pas with the Guru Puja, so, and Shumatiji said um, to record it, and I said, well, well, why Shumatiji, we're all here, <laughs> and uh, and so on. Well, Mother once um, called us there one afternoon stroke evening, and we were all there, and we were all falling asleep, and she gave a talk on the Vishuddhi, which was recorded. And we were really, you know, it was coming on for 10 or 11 at night. She carried on talking, carried on working on us. And about an hour later, she said, you see? And I realized that we'd all woken up and we're all alert. And she had just worked it out through us. Yeah, yeah. Done it all. And it, it was just incredible to go through just praying to be allowed to lie down, to being yeah. absolutely right on the ball. Amazing. And she often stayed over and we would all sit in a row by the bed taking vibrations and part of me would be you know feeling how amazing this was to take the vibrations and part of me would be dying for mother to say that's it you're all right you can lie down now and i'd be fighting with this pathetic bit that wants to lie down <laughs> no you can lie down any other time this is it this is it you know well, and this... then when mother would say that's it i think oh no no i didn't want it to stop really <laughs> But this was where I, I got that poisoning, that uh, oh weakener poisoning, oh, weak. oh, yeah. and my legs it. swelled up. And uh, Shumatiji came several times to work on my legs yes. and, oh my and massage the swelling down. They they, they swell right up, didn't they? They yeah, were like they um, oh, they like, like huge great cushions, and you could just press them, and they stayed pressed. It's because I'd been inhaling paracot weakener, which is lethal. Yeah. Yeah, not on purpose. Not on purpose. It, <laughs> was it wasn't quite that time. bad. No, no. But, uh, it no, it was accidental. I was working with, uh, without uh, protective gear, and I was very ill for weeks. Oh, so I remember visiting you. No, you used to yeah. wheel me to the over to the hospital yeah. in the wheelchair and back. And uh, yeah, she came and saw me several times and, and uh, spent a lot of time trying to work it out. And it, I got better in the end. Yeah. But uh, they couldn't. Right. They, uh, you seem to. Uh, okay. Judging from your your book and things like that, you seem to have had some pretty miraculous escapes. I think I must but have been a cat in one of my past lives. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> I had a few lives left over. I was very lucky. Yeah, yeah. I was very lucky. I made it out in the seventies. If I hadn't met Shumataji, no way would that have happened.
I don't think, I don't think a, a few of us might well have succumbed if we hadn't met Alan. Yeah, well, sure. I definitely would have. Sure. This was this was where we we stayed and and had meetings and discussions and we in met depth. up with mother each week yeah. here. Uh, yeah, but uh, Caxton Hall was public programme. So, yeah. it, was, so it was 1975. Um, 16th of 15th of September we met her at Judd Street for the first time in yeah. 1975. The next meeting, which would have been plus seven days, was here, and then from then onwards it was each week. And then about two weeks later we went to her house, which yeah. you missed. I missed. And this was this. Uh, it's a, one of, a, a chap Brown. called Gavin. Uh, he's not. A, he was renting it. He rented the office. That was his Gavin, office. Gavin Brown. Gavin Brown. Again, yeah. Gavin Brown had a Brown's Geological Information Service on the first floor, and he and his wife rented the flat above. And in fact, they had a house they owned in Chesham, where we went with Shumashti and them um, once on or a, twice. Once or twice for weekend weekend sort mm. of work sessions, seminars, you might call it, for seven people. <laughs> Yes. And um, yes, and it, and it became where Shumashji met us every week. Yeah, because we all lived we we all lived around the area. Douglas yeah. lived across the road. Yes. And at one point we moved in here. Yeah, at one after. point for a while. Yeah. At this stage, you and I were living over near Baker Street. That's right. We? Yes. Uh, the, I think the first meeting we had was what seventy four. The first one we came to was late summer seventy five. Seventy. No. No, no, September, no, 75, 75. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. The first meeting. So like, you might have met Mother in '74. I don't know. You, you'd met. That was the first time I came with Maureen. Oh yeah, yeah. That was at Judd Street, and that was the final meeting at Judd Street. From then on, for two years, we met here mostly. Yes, yeah, definitely. yeah. And then we met here till '77. And then, and we, then we started. Well, having, we still carried on. We still but, carried on. We yeah. went to India in '77. But we, uh, yeah. then oh, we, we had that but right. late in the summer, so we went to Acton. Yeah. And then for three but weeks, and then we moved to um, Finchley Road. Road. But um, the thing was that we, we didn't do any public programs from 75 to 77. We yeah. were just here just and in different Mother places with Shimataji. And she went to India for three months. Oh, yeah. January and to March. So. We went to Western Supermare and, and yeah. uh, all the sorts of places else, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But we were, it was just intensive work with Shimataji and just yeah. a small group of us yes. for two years. And, and Douglas had already been there for some time before that. That's right. Uh, and um, then we did the first public program late in '77 in Caxton October, Hall. That's right. And from then on, we had we it, there was always public programs and places where we met privately. Uh, yeah. But bef from '77, '75 to '77, all the world, <laughs> it, it all took place here. A lot of it, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Went to Chesham and yeah. uh, what's it? And, and we went to. Uh, St Albans, didn't we, as well? Yeah, with Jamal. Went, oh, yeah, yeah. Jamal. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was when we went round in your car. You took us round in a car, do you remember? Uh, no, you we finished got a train up. there to begin with. But, but we... Do you remember you were hired... A, yes, we did. Do you remember you hired an, um, an Allegro, was it? Yeah, no, I know, I did, yeah. Square, square well, you went all over the place. Yeah. But anyway, mostly it was here. And, and quite a lot yeah. happened here, didn't it? it was, a lot, a lot. It was, yeah. it was a working out. And the, I know, had I mean, some quite powerful experiences here uh, to, early on, and uh, of course we went to Shumatiji's house in her screen a lot yes, uh, yeah. as yes, well. Yes, we did. We had Haba, the first Haba there. Yeah. So we were here. Also, you know, another place we went to was, a Gro was it the Grosvenor in... Oh, the hotel in, in Victoria. Uh, Victoria used to have cucumber sandwiches. And tea, because uh, Mother got the train from Victoria, that's why I quite often go to the hotel. Yeah. Different world. Of course, Gregoire was here, on and off. He wasn't here very much. I mean, when, when he first... he was writing the advent, he came and stayed at Finchy Yeah, but not here so much. Well, what sort of size group used to come and visit here? Well, we, for, for two years, years, it was only about six or seven six or of seven. us. There was a floating people. We'd bring people, and they'd just drift off. You know, but there was a sort of call... No, there was six or seven of us that, that were here for... Yes. For but what I mean is sometimes people Oh, we come. try. I mean, that's what Jamel was. He. He came here because we, uh, we, mind, body and spirit. we gave out these leaflets. But it was basically six or seven of us for yes, two years. That's right. With some uh, But you know, we... loads of us went out to her house that time. Yeah, yeah, come. that time I missed it. Yeah. That wretched Ignatius. We got pictures with was. loads of us there. Yeah. And of course, Tony was there. Yeah. There was six or seven, yeah, and it was just, it was very. Uh, hard work, actually, I would say. Uh, great fun, but hard work. Uh, it was just a very intensive. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. few of us. Yeah.
say? What does that say? This is clear court. Yeah. Well, you remember um, when you go uh, over here, then you can get the clear court, yeah. 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 and people can walk by. What happened uh, when? Use the your stick in the other hand. That's all right. No, got it. Right now. When, when, we, when we went to Bharata Vidyavavan, we had a couple of meetings there, and then... And that was Mukham Shah, that was, the that was the Mukham Shah, the yoga classes. teacher took us there. And right. that was you and uh, me, Jane, 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 Tony, Tony um, um, and me, Jane, Tony, and anyway, what happened was that uh, Mukham Shah, because we, we didn't want to have any more meetings in the Bharata Vidyava van, Mukund Shah told us to come to his house. And he lived, lived up there somewhere. Hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, I think it was the third floor. That's amazing. Anyway. Just think that's that door. So what happened was that uh, we, we had meetings here for all about three or four times and this was Once well, this, a week would you say you um we i remember that on a sunday we had yes, two or three always on, sunday, always on yeah. a sunday at that time now this was at this so particular time you can actually see <laughs> uh, this at uh, this particular time um mother told us that to put our hands over our ears and we could actually still hear her talking because what had happened was that we were hearing her through our sastrara, and this was to, to prove to us that the actually that the sastrara had opened. And um, we had, as I say, we had meetings here maybe two or three times, and then from here we went to North Gower Street. Well, this is where I, I came to. I had my first meeting yeah. with Sumatra. Yeah. This is when you and I came. My, uh, I only came here once. Yes, um, I only came. Oh, here you once. only came yeah, once. We, yeah. we came together. So with a lot of people. There was about six or seven of us. The second time. No, the first time we came. No, it's just yeah. you and me and Marie. No, there was Gus and there was several other people. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Not no, no. The first time. No, no it's only just you and me and Marie. Marie. I thought there were other people. No, Gus them. came another t other time. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, and we, it was raining. Remember? Yes. Yeah. Well, there'd been that huge thunderstorm the night before. It's amazing. So that's the last door I walked through as a yes, ordinary as doomed person. person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember walking along the street and my feet, uh, I w were walking and I, I felt absolutely terrified. I didn't. And, and I didn't know why. I felt like there was, you know, I, I wanted yeah, to run away. Yeah, you must away. have been s sensed it. I don't know I, what I felt. I, I just was determined to get there because Maria said I was behind. in too bad a condition to go. Yes, yeah. So I was determined to get there. It's and amazing, we, yeah. We so I haven't in. been here since that. And then we went in that flat. 30, you 30 something years. How oh, long, long ago is that? 30, 36, nearly 36, 36 years. Oh and God. and Marie That's said crazy. to take our shoes off, so we, you know, and I can remember wondering about that, but you know, okay. And there were all these pairs of shoes, weren't there, in the hall, and it was really dark. And we went into that living room, and Mother was sat up the end by the window, which would be one of these. Yeah. And uh, she was working on an Indian gentleman. Seek. Yes, with a turban. Cutting him off, not just yes, working on him. I know. Yeah. And that, that was the complete opposite to what I expected. Yes, yes. And the first thing Mother said was that I could do a big show, but I'm your mother. So the first thing she said to me was, "This one's sick." Yeah. <laughs> and then she um, she came round to us all, and uh, she said to me, "What do you feel?" And I was just about to say, "I've no idea." And I said, "Oh, oh, I feel it in my hands. Actually, you feel the vibrations here. Amazing." Yeah, sure. And uh, she said, "May God bless you. You've got it. Well, I've got it. <coughs> but I didn't. No idea I, what I've got, but I've got it." <laughs> well, I just went up, and uh, she just said, "This one's sick." One hand got out me the to window. stick one hand out the window. Uh, one of those windows. But I mean, know. I had a, quite a strong experience just walking in the room. Well, I just felt that she was a goddess, and I yeah, never thought yeah. that before. Ever in my life. I just thought, you know, what, what's this person doing here? You know, this is. This is not the normal world. <laughs> it's amazing. And, that, that, and she had a watch on with no numbers on. <laughs> really? And I can remember looking at it and it seemed perfectly right that she had a watch with no I'm numbers sure on. I'm sure it did, at all. yeah. 
Are you sure it had no numbers? It had no numbers, it just had like a tick here. Oh, I see, here, yeah, yeah. But no numbers yeah, yeah. at all. You know, and I, it just seems so appropriate that there was no time. Because yeah. I was wondering what the time was. Completely, uh, it was outside, and then Mother gave me that bottle with Richard, and I rated it. I know. Yeah, I had so, a lot of, I had several strong experiences. I mean, I had that with that water as well. And also the, the combine harvester. No, that was different. But uh, no, it's strong, but it's just so awesome to be here yeah. after all that time, 36 years. Careful. Sorry, go on. Yeah, it's, it's strange. Yeah, it was. Strange. We hadn't come here that day. I know. Imagine. We'll be lost. <laughs> More than lost, by me. Yeah, it's, it's strange. It really, it really feels strange to just see myself walking through that door. Yeah. Yeah. I, brought, I brought this young lad round, a guy called Rafe. He, he was a son of a guy that was living near me, an artist. And <clears throat> what happened, I brought him here, but he spent all the time, all the time sort of laying on his tummy, crawling round all the through underneath all the furniture when you and say under young, the how young? Oh, it was about uh, ten or eleven. Oh, thank goodness for that. No, it wasn't your lad. <laughs> I thought he must have been sounds really weird. Yeah, well, yeah, it was about ten or eleven. Yeah, okay. Uh, and he, he was sort of <coughs> slithering. He, he was sort of on his on his tummy, sort of going underneath all the furniture. <laughs> Mother said he was possessed by a snake. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's odd. Well. Yeah, straight. Incredible. Right. <laughs>